3K maps, uh, I will talk two different uh, approaches to two different problems. One is the five variable K maps, and one is the multiple output problems. So, for five variable K maps, think that you have five inputs A, B, C, D, E. In this case, you have a total of 32 squares that you need to put in a, in a, in a K map. So, of course, we cannot make it that big so we don't want to do that so it's going to be difficult uh, so the approach is to make two five by four by four matrices so it's going to be something like this so you will have B C D E as your regular K map and you will have two maps that will say either A is 0 or A is 1. So with this map A is always 0 for this map A is always 1. So let's let's take a few example for example how about this cell this cell would be A not B not C D E and take another example from here let's say this is gonna be A B C D not E. So the simplification is again the same. The idea is same. You just need to think uh, almost like a three D. So let's say we have a map like this. So you would take you would take these two with these two so that would give you since A is changing A will drop and then we will look at this it's gonna be B not C D is changing E For this one, see, you have these cross. Sometimes you might not have these cross, and for this uh, particular K map, you have it. So A is changing, but the rest of it is not changing. So it's going to be C naught, D, E. And finally, we have only these. A is again changing, uh, the rest is the same. E not. This way you can you can work on uh, five variables. So this is one approach uh, for for five variables. But how about you have two outputs with same inputs? So you have A B C as your inputs, but you have two outputs then you will have two K maps. Here is an example. Let's say we have these two K maps F and G and we'll see how we will actually implement this. So 0, 2, 6, 7 I'll put these 0, 2, 6 and 7 and here 1, 3, 6, and 7. So now these are like a relatively easy K maps for us. You can take these two and these two, and we'll write the function. F is going to be A is not changing, A not, C not, plus AB. And here, G is again same one a b plus a not c so if i wanted to Im implement these with and and or gates 
this is for f so I have a naught c naught a and b and this would go to an OR gate so this is your f and your g again the same way a b a naught c and these would go to an OR gate so this is your G but as you see here that A and B here we're using the same gate in the same fashion which was the case already here that we somehow noticed so when you simplify you you can also consider this to make even smaller uh, implementations so you would use less gates let's look at this one which is exactly the same implementation of two outputs but we will share that gate so this is gonna go to a or gate that will give us F and this again will go to another OR gate which will give us G so we use the same gate for both inputs so it is there's one less gate 